going on YouTube fans? This is Big Pat Sports Talk. This is Big Pat back with another banger, with another video for you. This is my reaction to the New Orleans Who That Saints beating down the Chicago Bears today. I got the Bears fans looking sad as you can see in the little video I have here. Just a recap, man. The Saints beat the Bears 21 to 9 today. Sad day for Mr. Trubisky. Um, I believe it might be his final game in a Chicago uniform. They just didn't have it today, man. They the Bears receivers, they failed to make plays today. Allen Robinson was locked up today. And they had to depend on people like Wims, who drops a wide open touchdown in the end zone after a pretty flea flicker play. Uh, Mr. Nagy called. How can you drop that wide open in the end zone? Just a crazy play, man. It should it was a very pretty play, but it turned out to be crazy because he dropped he dropped it. How can you drop that wide open pass pass, man? You know that could have blew that could have got the game tied up seven to seven. I mean the Saints, uh, they weren't on full blast today. They had an opportunity to be beat today. To be honest with you, they had a very good opportunity to be beat today if the Chicago Bears would have just executed. They could not execute today. Uh, the running game was a non-factor. Mr. Trubisky was inaccurate at times, and the receivers were dropping passes. Um, they did have injuries to their receiving core, so I do understand to a certain extent, but this is the playoffs, man. You got to show up. That's the reason why you were in the playoffs. The Orleans Saints, they showed up today. Michael Thomas showed up today. Uh, his first, like really, his first action all season. He only played, what, two, three games this year? But he he, he shined in this one. And the who that Saints, man, who that nation, stand up, man. He got a playoff victory. Is this Drew, Drew Brees' last hoorah? Who knows? Uh, reports are out that he may, he's planning on retiring after this season. So you guys got to make the best of it, man. Try to get you a Super Bowl title. To let Drew Brees go out with a bang like Peyton Manning did. He's going to be one of the top quarterbacks of all time. He's the stat leader of multiple records for quarterbacks of all time. He's just a great quarterback. Also a great guy. He's very charitable. And he's been doing it for over two decades now. And I, I actually picked the Bears to beat you guys today because you guys always do it in the playoffs, man. You, 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 you find a way to lose in the playoffs, but today you found a way to win. So you got a lot of Bears fans sad out there. My big brother, shout out to uh, Judah Tribe. He's a diehard Bears fan. I know Bears fan. I know he's. Not feeling too good right now. Uh, I really thought they really had a chance, and they actually did have a chance. It's just that the Bears' offense, as usual, did not show up. I mean, you, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what the Bears are going to do this offseason. Uh, the coach should be back. He made it to the playoffs, but who knows that that – that organization they may fire Matt Nagy because he was brought there to be an offensive guru and he hasn't done it he just hasn't done it I mean the Bears offense has been at the bottom of the league is Allen Robinson happy is he is he going to return you know is he going to return to the Bears if not I, I know a team that would gladly take him a team in New York that would gladly take him the New York Giants He's definitely a number one receiver. He's definitely a route runner. He's definitely a guy that could go get get the ball at any time. He definitely can game make the make game changing plays. He, he's a great receiver, man, and I believe he, his talent is being wasted over there in Chicago because they can't find they can't find a way to get the offense going. I don't understand it. You got uh you got tight ends. I don't know. Maybe the loss of Tariq Cohen for the season has something to do with them not being able to, you know, get the offense going the way it's supposed to. Who knows, man? Uh, Chicago got a lot of things to 
to answer when they when they uh this off season, man, because it, it's it, it, the offense is bad out there. The offense is almost as bad as ours in in, in New York, and that's bad. I mean, that's damn near sad because you guys have a Super Bowl ready defense. You got a Super Bowl ready defense. No question about it. You have a Super Bowl ready defense. Khalil Mack, your defensive tackles, Raquan Smith, Eddie Jackson, your DBs are good. You stack from the defensive line all the way to the defensive backfield. You have Pro Bowl caliber players all throughout that defense. Like I said, Mack, Akeem Hicks. Quan Smith, Eddie Jackson, Fuller, just Pro Bowl caliber defense all throughout that defense. Just Pro Bowl caliber players throughout that whole defense. That's one thing Chicago always brings is, is a very, very good defense. Even though the offense didn't do anything almost the whole game, they still only gave up 21 points to a Saints offense who got back a healthy Michael Thomas today. They got a healthy Emmanuel Sanders, a healthy Drew Brees, a healthy Kamara, a healthy Jerry Cook. They held those boys to 21 points today, and they were put in a bad position the whole game. And you, and they still only gave up 21 points. That's, 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 that's great defense, man. I feel sorry for that defense out there in Chicago because that organization has built a, 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 a hell of a defense. A lot of teams out here wish they would have you guys' defense, man, because that offense you should be ashamed of yourselves, man. You can only put up nine points today in the playoff game. Nine points? Come on, man. So I don't know what you guys are going to do. You got Nick Foles. You got Mr. Trubisky. I don't believe in any one of those guys, to be honest with you. If I were you guys, I would get rid of both of them. And I would try to trade for Deshaun Watson. I'm going to be making a video about that as well. Deshaun Watson made one out of Houston. If I was the Chicago Bears, I would give up my first-round pick, Mr. Trubisky, and whoever else you want. Only person I want to give up is Khalil Mack. But if you want to do a Khalil Mack for Deshaun Watson straight up, I'll do it. Because if you put Deshaun Watson on the Bears with that defense, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Chicago gonna be jumping. Bears fans would be celebrating in the streets if they got Deshaun Watson. So if he wants to be traded, if I'm the Bears GM, man, I'm making that happen. I'm I, I'm seeing what 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 will I have to give up to get Deshaun Watson. I give up a first round pick this year, third round pick this year, and maybe a third round pick next year with a with a Mr. Trubisky to give them a quarterback back if they want to accept him. And uh, let's see, see, let's see what other pieces you can give them, you know? Because uh, you put you put Deshaun Watson over there with Allen Robinson and those boys, Tariq Cohen coming back, and that defense, man. If you can keep that defense intact with Deshaun Watson, man, look out. That's one team that I would hate to see in the NFC get get Deshaun Watson. Them, the 49ers. Those two organizations, if they get Deshaun Watson, man, it, it might be a wrap, man. Because those defenses are not playing. Imagine him in San Francisco with Brandon Ayuk. And, whew, but that's a, that's another video for another day, man. But this is my reaction, man, to the New Orleans Saints beating the Chicago Bears. Wild card weekend. Congratulations to who that Saints you are to the next round and then if this is the year you guys want the Super Bowl this is the year you gotta do it man let's see Drew Brees can get his Ho Hogan on next week and bring another victory to the Who That Nation so that's the end of this video man that was my reaction to the, the Saints beating the Bears 21-9 Wild Card Weekend. This is Big Pass Sports Talk. Thank you for tuning in. And we out. Peace. 
You dig? Like this, super high.